Welcome back, my wonderful friends. How you doing today? It's Chris here. Today we're going to play some more Iron Marines for you guys. This is Unto the Breach. Um, I don't really like reading all the briefing and the mission objective or whatnot, but basically all you got to do is you got to capture three different areas. I am going to be using Paragon, and I do have all of my gears uh, just about fully upgraded. So, um... First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get some stopping power on this guy. I'm going to grab an extra turret down here, and I'm going to grab an extra set of marines. Now, before I do anything too crazy, I actually want to get rid of this guy. I'm going to sell him so I can buy an extra set of marines. And actually, after that, I'm going to buy even another extra set of marines. Extra set of marines down here. And I'm going to take over this guy really nice and quick. So we're going to even do the drop turret down here and everything. Before it gets anything, we're going to just take this thing down quick. And then we're going to grab another command point while we're at it as well, so we can get even more marines coming in here, guys. We want to get a ton of marines, and then once we get a base, we're going to put some snipers next to it, so it can uh, hopefully defend. We're going to get some uh, turrets and some snipers. Now, sadly, trying to speedrun this can be a little bit difficult. Admittedly. Um, it's definitely not no easy breezy cover girl type of thing, man. So we're just going to take over that base on the bottom there. Before we get an extra set of marines, though, I am going to switch these guys to snipers. Send Paragon up here. We're going to get another set of uh, Marines. And then, uh, now that we're actually earning some extra money up in here, we're going to try and take this over pretty fast as well. We're just going to send out everybody up in the middle over here, guys, because Paragon's going to end up using his um, healing ability, so every single person in here is going to get healed. Watch this. Whoop! Everybody's getting healed, but we need some extra turrets, baby. Get some extra turrets down here, and we're going to shield these guys up as well. We've got to make sure our, our snipers don't die um, either. So Paragon's going to have to defend over here instead. We're going to drop him down. We're going to use his abilities. we got double turrets, and we're going to shield these guys up, and we're going to give him some extra range pretty soon while we take over the top. So obviously a little bit busy right now. Um, we got guys just about overwhelming us over here. Um, in fact, let's drop our drop turret right here. Let's see if we can keep this turret alive. They're attacking us from the bottom as well, but that's not that big of a deal. They're just kind of sort of weak units at this point. Get our extra shield up in here, and we're just going to defend the top two for just a little bit up in here, guys, while we get some extra... Um, uh, Ethereum. Get an extra turret up there. Um, Paragon's almost back, but sadly not back yet. So don't forget about those shields. They're actually really, really important, guys. Shields are going to be key. So I can drop Paragon down right here. Whoop, Paragon! Use his ability. Take down all these stupid worm gunners. Okay, so... Now that we've got these two bases pretty much covered, we're actually going to send our Marines back over to the middle here, take, clean up some of these guys, and then send them down to the bottom pretty much right away. Let's get some stopping power. We're going to heal this guy back up. Oh, man, I can't believe Paragon died. I wasn't paying attention. Ugh, let's just drop gun these bad boys. Boom, baby. Look at the drop gun damage right there. Now that we have three Ethereum things, you're going to be getting a lot of Ethereum, so make sure you actually upgrade a lot of your stuff. Shields are one of those weird things. You don't usually want to get shields too crazy fast, even though it's kind of nice to have a bunch of, of uh, uh, shields. You don't want to get them too fast because it ends up uh, being better if you get them when you need them. So we're going to drop Paragon again right down here in the middle. We're going to do our drop gun pretty soon. I think maybe on the top. Let's see. Instead of killing this thing fast, let's actually defend. Let's drop gun these bad boys. Then we're going to get our shield and our extra range. We're going to pick up Paragon. We're going to put him up in here so we can defend a little bit better. Again, as you can tell, it looks like we have to defend a lot of stuff. But I got my snipers over there. I'm actually going to get um, another... Co oh, come on, Paragon. Dude, really? You're going to die on me like that? I'm going to have to move back my Marines. Yeah, we've got to defend a little bit longer. All right, luckily our sniper's doing a good job in defending. Um... Come on, don't die, turret, don't die. Ah, he's gonna die. Ah, almost had him, but not quite. It's okay, we're gonna end up getting another turret up in here. We'll be hopefully take down this bottom turret. Alright, come on, Paragon, don't die on me now, buddy. Too much stuff going on right now, trying to speedrun this crap. Okay, now that we got that covered, we're gonna drop Paragon actually on this base hopefully take it over finally. Alright. And also, um, don't forget about this, there is, I believe there's a command point over here. So just some Ethereum. Alright, so we want to get rid of the spawner pool for sure. That thing's got to get taken down. I'll heal up really quick so my marines don't die. And I will grab some extra Ethereum so I can get this guy upgraded all the way. 
bam, some extra stopping power, some healing power. Now they're stealing all my Ethereum from up there, but all we gotta do is defend for 120 seconds, or so it says. I think it's actually closer to like 130 or something like that. On impossible. Um, on top of that, we need to get some extra turrets up in here. He's stealing all my stuff. We gotta drop gun this bad boy so he doesn't keep stealing all my Ethereum. Um, with these four uh, extra guys, you're actually gonna be making a lot of Ethereum right now. So you can spend it on whatever the heck you need. Just make sure you move your units out around as you see fit. Now I'm gonna move Marines here, move Marines here, and we're gonna change these guys to snipers. Sniper and sniper. Um, these guys are snipers already. We're going to change these guys to snipers and move them over there. And then we're going to change these guys to snipers and move them over there. Because it's all about defending at this point, guys. Also, these stupid freaking things that steal my gosh darn Ethereum are annoying as crap. They really are. This looks like we need Paragon actually in the middle down here. Let's use our ability. Keep him alive. Target locked. Target locked. And now that we have two sets of snipers, we're actually going to be doing a pretty decent amount of damage to these guys. Let's move them back just a little bit closer, let our turrets actually do some damage as well. Only about 40 seconds left to go, guys. It looks like we are going to defend unless something really, really ridiculous happens, but we're also going to get an extra um, set of uh, shields up. Shields are probably one of the most important things in the game. If you don't have your shields at the right time, you're going to have a bad time, guys. For sure. They are difficult. They are difficult to get, but once you get them, you're going to be so happy. Target locked. So we're going to pick Paragon up, and we got too many guys up in here. We're going to use our special ability, and I'm going to heal up right after that, just so we can stay alive while we kill all the rest of these enemies. There's a lot of guys right now. They're even shooting my um, my turrets, but all we do is defend for nine seconds, and we're obviously not going to lose in those eight seconds. It honestly doesn't even matter if we lose any of these bases at this point. Just like whatevs. Target locked. And there we go. We've done it. We've completed the mission. So it only took us about seven minutes to complete in total. Um, overall, basically, you don't want to push yourself too hard. It's nice to have some extra Ethereum, so you want to take at least one base really, really quickly. Second base, as quickly as possible, while still getting a decent amount of defense up. And then the third base, don't push it too fast. Upgrade all of your stuff. Um, shields are one of those things you don't want to upgrade all the way. Only upgrade them when you need them, because you can re-initiate uh, a shield anytime you want. Um just by spending that little tiny bit of money right there. So, if you guys enjoyed, make sure you press that like button for me. Hopefully this helped you out a little bit. Subscribe if you haven't, and have a super duper delicious day.